Hey guys, Sam Rhino here with another video. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at pellulated woodpeckers. You know, these birds are absolutely stunning. They're so beautiful to look at. And up until recently, I've really had no luck of getting any good shots or video of them. That's until recently when I encountered this nest and I was able to get some amazing shots and video of this nest. And I'm happy to share them with you and I can't wait to share them with you. So I say let's get going because I know you'd rather look at that than my ugly mush. So I say let's go, let's talk about it, let's look at the pictures, let's look at the video, and let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, so pushy. You talked me into it. All right, let's go. We're going. All right, let's go. <laughs> You know, I get asked this question all the time. What is it that you love about wildlife photography so much? And the answer is clear. It's moments like this. It's going out every day and not knowing what you're gonna encounter that day. And coming home and looking at your images and feeling so excited about what you captured that day. It's really pretty amazing how the babies know when the mother's coming back and they pop out to greet her. The mother will wait and look around for a few minutes before start feeding them to make sure there's no predators or any danger around. that always amazes me by watching these birds and wildlife in general is how affectionate the mothers can be and how caring they are and how determined they are. If you notice, the rain is coming down pretty good here, but that's not going to stop her from getting food to her young and making sure that they're fed and survive. So this morning, I was excited to go back to the woodpecker nest. But on the way, I saw this blue jay eating a bug. And you know, even if it's a common bird, there's beauty in everything. You just gotta open your eyes. So I couldn't help but stop and take some video and pictures of this beautiful bird. So this beautiful morning turned into a bit of a sad day. I found out the male has been missing for about a week now and nobody has seen him. You know, there's many predators in this area, including a red-tailed hawk nest that's really close by, which is the subject of my next video, by the way. And also there was a third baby that's also been missing for a few days that nobody has seen him and it's feared that he's also gone. You know, this is the part of wildlife that's really tough sometimes, but we have to accept it 
it's part of life also. But the lesson to be learned here is the female can't stop to worry about these things. She still has two more babies to worry about and they need to survive. So she carries on and she does what she needs to do for survival. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for an upcoming video on a red-tailed hawk nest really soon. And until next time guys, happy shooting and talk to you later.